Morning everybody, or hello, depending on what time you are watching this. So, what are we up to today? Well, surprise, surprise, we are digging ditches. Bum, ba, da, bum. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, also, enjoy the new intro. <laughs> dike that we dug out yesterday just to see if the water has dropped and as you can see once again it's dropped considerably i can now see quite clearly the bottom of the dike there is some dodgy bits where i didn't quite uh, get the scoop level but um but all in all it is flowing away quite nicely now remember i said that i hit i thought i hit some i'll get the sun here i thought i hit some drones or I, I, I chipped the bank so I remember what I hit to have a look later. And I was right. I have found one of the drains. That's two we've found now. So if I flip the camera around. It is there. That slightly darker bit. It's not very good on camera. But that is definitely a land drain. That's a tube that flows under here. So that is now two that I found. Which now I can look at the map. I've got the map of the drainage field. That was pretty luck. Because this was done actually before I got down here. And a few years before and i managed to ring the firm that done it and they managed to keep hold of the maps so all i've got to do now is now i've located two is i can start with the first marker if you like and then step the distance and then dig underneath it and that should find them with a bit of luck farmer clive's gonna get the old divining rods out again and have a look so that'll be that'll be a good video so anyway i just wanted to come down here quickly to show you how much it's dropped and also that i found the land drains that was the point of this little segment. Anyway, I'm just going to show you the other bit as well. Where's that? I, mark, I cleverly marked the field. You see the little bits there. I just put the bucket down and put, put a grip in so I know where they are. The other one is here somewhere. I will be getting some sticks and stakes and putting them up when we actually get them cleared. The other bit was somewhere, ah, somewhere there. So flip the camera around again. Something there. So I don't know whether I've clipped the end of it and actually runs into here or it's actually one for that field, which would be ideal because there's that puddle. But I didn't bring a shovel with me to get in and have a look. And I don't really fancy getting freezing cold this morning. So we might leave that to dry a little bit more before I have a look at that. So hopefully that's two. But if that goes in this field, the other ones only, you can see where I marked the bank there. That's not chain width. Normally they're about a chain apart, which is old school money for, I can't remember how many metres, but it's about a cricket field. So that is not, that is not, that's not a cricket pitch. So I'm thinking that that one goes into that direction. Now, everyone's probably thinking, why don't you know where your drains are? Well, I took over a farm, uh, this farm in 2011. Uh, lucky this was drained by a legit company. But the other lot was drained by a local guy with a digger who used to come in and just dig literally a trench through the field, lay the plastic pipe, then they used to put straw on top of it and then backfill it and the problem is they never marked it down on any maps they just remembered it all up here but when i go to approach these people and said can you remember where the drains are it's it's probably 20 30 years 40 years since they put them in so no way could they remember so i'm literally fine i'll find them as we're going but anyway let's get back and let's get some digging done hopefully we're going to go and do that dike now that is the plan oh no, no we're going to do the one behind there because there's no point in doing this dike if it doesn't flow into that dike so that's what we're doing now i couldn't resist jumping in the bottom there and actually having a look and uh, i wish i hadn't because yep i don't have a very wet foot it's deeper than what i uh what i thought it were 
Oh, no. So that is this dike done here. You can see that. But anyway, I'm trying to find the coal bit. So the coal bit goes underneath uh, this gateway here into that dike. The coal bit, again, is just a bit of pipe, the less water flow underneath stuff, basically. But I can't see to find it. I don't know where I might have blocked it when I dug out a bit more, but the water is running there. So, I have a technique, I don't have a technique, but I've learned a technique off of um, someone who did a lot of ditching work with us. Uh, he used to do, um, he, he did a, he a lot of ditching work here, and I used to watch what he was doing and, and get the dike and dig stuff out, like a bank. And he, and he used to do a bit of a technique. So, um, I'm going to now repeat this technique and share it with you. I don't know whether I'm allowed to. Um, he used to do a lot of, he used to love teaching people. So, this is straight out of uh, the school of digger work. I'm pretty sure if you, if people are watching this, they know all about. So this is his tried and tested technique to find a coal. So that was the tried and tested technique from uh, the school of digger work. And I think it has kind of worked. I'm trying not to slip in here because this is a this is a main drain. So this is extremely deep. This is probably as deep as I am. So you can see the water is running out the coal bit. So it did kind of work. I mean not 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 as much as I thought it was gonna. Let me just get out of this bank before I slip in. That'll make a hilarious video for you lot, not so much for me. Um, so it is kind of working. I would have thought the amount of water that was in here. It would have been a bit quicker, but um, we'll have to. Oh, there it is. Found it. It's there. Yeah, it is full of muck. You can see it. There is the culvert. Found it. It is got a bit of muck in it. So that wants clearing out. I am not going to t attempt that now, uh, mainly because what's gone through my mind is two things. That is deep. And if I get in there, slip in there, and can't get out, I need someone to come and help me. So that is a two-man job. I'll wait for Farmer Clive to come. I'll put a ladder down, climb down the ladder, and then I'll start poking about. But I'll have to wait for Farmer Clive to rock up before we can do that. Or Farmer George, just someone to supervise. Just in case something else does go wrong, which I don't want it to. But it's still flowing, so that takes some of that out. Happy days. Right, let's move on to the next bit. Dig, 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 dig in. Absolutely love diggers. Love them. So the plan was to do this dike here where I'm at in the potato, the field to cover potatoes, but we've got a few issues with trees in the way. So there's one there that needs to be folded up, and there's another one growing in the dike, which is stopping the water flow. So we need that way is pretty clear actually. There's a couple of overhanging trees. So I need chainsaws, teleporters uh, to come and do this tractors change, you know, the lot. Uh, and I haven't actually got them here now this second. And I don't want to waste time with the digger. This is very important, don't get me wrong, we need to do it. But um, so I need to go and get all them. But actually, lucky for me, I have a very, very good mate of mine who's actually very good at this. He's a very, very good tree surgeon. So he's very kindly said uh, he'll come and have a look at it. Now, he didn't say he'll come and do it. He said he'll come and have a look. So uh, hopefully he will do this. And with his knowledge, expertise and his kit, he's got a range of chainsaws, uh, we will be able to, uh, to get this tree light out. So that would be an exciting episode if he allows us to film it. It'd be a very good episode. 
So we're gonna have to pause this dike here and we're gonna go to the potato field that's underwater over there and do that. So that is the change of plan. So we are back on the very wet potato field. You see the background. Still water lay on it and still potatoes there. Uh, so I think I might do that one as well, because it's track down there and that's a bit got a bit of water in and we need to do uh, this one. I think this is where most of the water is, so I hope it'll drain into there. Though this field desperately needs an under drain. I actually asked for some under drain from the landlord, but they said uh, no a couple of years back now, but not really now. Flooded, but never mind. Also, as well, in other great news, we're going to have a shout out to Mr. Boo, one of the world's best neighbours. Hi, Mr. Boo, and also Dougie. I know Dougie watches. So, uh, look, Dick, Dougie, you're on TV. Anyway. Right, let's get digging. trenches I dug to let the water off. I had to fill one in to then get across to carry on. Here we go. Surprise, surprise, I've done something silly. And that's hard to believe. I mean, I'm just an absolute you know, genius and nothing goes wrong. I might have slipped the track off the digger. Might have. No, I, I, I definitely have. So uh, I'm gonna wash it down. I run the guy who I hired it off. He was absolutely really nice about it. He's gonna pop down and just pop it back on again. So um, there should be minimal downtime, but what an idiot. <laughs> an idiot. Someone did say they love seeing the disasters that happen, so I'm going to try and film some of the disasters that happen because, um, let's be honest, it happened on an hourly basis. But anyway, uh, look who I just found pinching potatoes. It's Farmer Jordan. It's Farmer Jordan. He's pinching potatoes. He's having them for tea. This is his. Uh, uh, Farm you not a work get up. Oh, I've got work straight on. He's, he's, he's in the car, he's very busy. Busy, busy, busy. Oh, I'm looking after my daughter. He's looking after his daughter. I've got to go and pick my son and my other daughter. There we go. That was Farm Jordan. Any, any last words, Farm Jordan? Well, his mum's just didn't speed. I hope you didn't. There we go. <laughs> Naughty, Kelly. <laughs> anyway, the track is now back up. It's back to how it should be. Let's crack on. Here we go. So that is it, it's dark again, another day has dawned. Another day's dawned? That's wrong. Another evening has come to a, no? That's even wronger. Uh, another day's finished, that'll do. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed that, the track survived it in the end. What an idiot. Um, I'm not gonna do that again. I don't know what I did, but I'll try not to do it again. A little bit of sunset in the background there. Oh, lovely. Red sky at night, shepherd's delight. So it's gonna be a nice day tomorrow. Anyway, if you did like that, please like, subscribe, tell your friends and family. And um, all that's left to say is, I'll see you guys again later. Thanks for watching.